Hi guys, it's Ilze B here. How are you doing? Speaking of myself, I'm doing very well. As you know, or you may know, that I am on like a sabbatical where I have slowed down my social media activities. And while I'm doing that, I'm of course still living my life and sometimes I catch up with my friends like you. And I'm talking about my personal things, that what's going on in my life, not so much about business. And today I will tell you about very personal experience through my speech that I gave to my Toastmasters club this week. And it is about my dog, my doggy that passed away three years ago, but um, the memory of who I still keep um, in my heart and will keep forever. And um, if you are a pet owner, you know how pets know many things about you that nobody else does, yet they can't tell them to anybody. And that's why probably they know those secrets. And uh, in my speech, I will reveal one of those secret memories that nobody knew except my dog, Sara. So I hope you'll enjoy it and please watch the video. It looked like all the beachgoers had settled there. There was hardly any soul on my right, which determined where to go and spread out the blanket that I had mindfully grabbed from the car. Sara explored the surroundings and having found it safe, sat down and started counting seagulls. The sun caressed my body and gently invited me to show her more of my skin. I assessed my underwear and having found and decided that it looked almost like a bikini, I dropped off my dress. Images and sounds blurred together in a sedative cocktail and I fell asleep. When I woke up, Sara was still sitting there, still counting the seagulls. Yet, when I suggested that we go and test how wet the water is, she gladly dropped her business and followed me. And so we played on the beach all afternoon and into the evening, until the beach belonged to just the two of us. Seizing that rare occasion, I dropped off my underwear slash bikini and went for a plunge one more time. Sara was tired. She didn't also want to be wet in my car. Therefore, she volunteered to guard our stuff on the beach. The evening was heavenly calm and the sea was waveless. I started walking towards the horizon and the setting sun. I must have walked for what felt like a hundred meters until I finally got to the point where I had to start swimming if I wanted to get further. I didn't. Instead, I laid on my back and in the moment. If you have ever tried swimming naked, you know what a great feeling it is. If you haven't, I suggest putting skinny dipping on your bucket list. <laughs> how did you like the video? I hope you did. Although it wasn't actually a full story. If you want to know the full story, then you need to book me as a public speaker because I will tell you in the speech how the story evolved and how it resolved. But maybe you want to guess what happened next. Comment in the comment section. Let's have a laugh together. But now I'll say bye-bye till the next time.